Hello folks, this is Psychic Underlord from PsychicUnderlord.com and our which is our Etsy page and our YouTube page which is PsychicUnderlord.net. So pleased to be back with you again doing another esoteric video for our fans out there who want to get some serious spiritual information and get down to nitty gritty, kind of build your knowledge basis about uh, the divine it's pretty much one direction that we're headed in, and we've been it's been prophesied that we are heading into the ascended place that has been prepared for us. Today we're gonna to do a video talking about the karma of non-reproduction. Many people have heard uh, ad nauseum uh, as uh, and for good reason, uh, being fruitful and multiplying being used for every type of context you could imagine. Human beings naturally want to be bigger, better, create more, do more, have more, possess more. Uh, all these wonderful concepts are part of our human, our fallen nature uh, in doing things our own way, doing things by our own hand and by our own power has really put us in a position globally where we always thought, that simply reproducing would be the solution. But as we see in 2024, the destruction and the erasure of the human race is a very real possibility that even with reproduction and all of the forms surrounding it that prevent reproduction from happening altogether, just to simply elevate and glorify sex as the means of procreation, but never actually utilizing it um, in the way that they claim that it's supposed to be for. It's supposed to be for a divinity, and it's become uh, just a means to an end. So let's talk about non-reproduction. Not reproduction, having children, but I think this will be kind of tied up in a bow for you, because some of you guys are saying, well, did I do the right thing to not have children? Did I do the right thing to have children? And then, and I'm raising children and grandchildren in these times. Is this, you know, I had to do what I had to do, and now I'm living in this life, but I want to understand the spiritual ramifications of specifically for this video, the non-reproduction side. The first concept of eternal life involves clearing karmic debts. So now we go back to square one where it's you came in this world alone and you happen to, to bump into the era of the eternal life and in the return of Christ, which um, sounds like uh, too good to be true, even on YouTube uh, with all kinds of videos you have. You see so many examples of people making millions of dollars, billionaires, people hopping on private jets. I can't even give you a good, good video. So, uh, Clearing of karmic debts, that's not going to change. It goes right back to you. Child rearing and child bearing doubles your karmic weight in the world. Your actual mass and your weight in the world in your reproduction in, of something that is alive, that walks around, goes to McDonald's, drives a car, has more kids, has sex out, out of wedlock, goes in and shoots up at 7-Eleven, does all these things, all because something came through the spirit realm that was an abomination from its outset. It was called an abomination that these angels came down and reproduced with those white-skinned workers who were digging gold. We have all of the mines all over the world digging and propagating gold. We're talking about the creator of that who has created us, the Anunnaki, the Nephilim. This is where I'm going with this. Your karmic weight, and then you have multiple children. So think about how in your lifetime, how much waste comes from one person, how much trash you produce, how many, how much noise you make, how many disruptions that are caused by what you've created out of your body. It began as an abomination from day one. 
It was never supposed to happen. Those white-skinned workers, the females that the fallen angels came down, were cast out and took advantage of the, the genetics and the fact that they were created from the creator and had a, a piece of the DNA, but they were engineered to not speak, to not sing, to not dance, to not have a mind of their own. They had no sin. They had nothing against the creator because they were created for his perfect purposes. The fallen angels, on the other hand, were grafted from his DNA as well. And they wanted to become him, but they could not possess his power because he is the only one in power. They didn't understand that. Transmitting DNA is a product of living in a world established by fallen entities. This is this is what we are products of. I am, you are everyone who can talk, walk upright, open their eyes, blink their left eye, blink their right one. All these kind of things that are own that are unique to human beings, they come from a legacy of being a part of the, the brood of fallen entities. That is why the salvation concept was established for us to return to Christ in his time. And karma is a basic governance that came from the heavenly realm to determine punishment from lifetime to lifetime for reproduction. When he realized that the, that the entities he had cast out had reproduced, produced giants in the world, millions and millions and billions of all these wicked creatures, all look at the, the, the war of this world, the trauma of this world, it never ended. And now we're just seeing it mass produced, mass packaged and presented because we come from a fallen nature. Half of us doesn't have a beef with, with the creator. The other half hates him who has brought us. And that's what we have to understand. The wickedness, you're not as good as you think you are, even though you go to church every day. Because the church cannot get that thing out. It has to come by his hand that it comes out of you. That's what we're talking about. You can follow all the procedures in the book, but if you never ask the creator in the spirit what you should do, you cannot live eternally. That's what he's looking for, people to obey. So karma is, is how he settled the score and said, well, I cast you down, you created this, so what is going to be eye for an eye, tooth for tooth? Good people get good, bad people get bad. But then they discovered that since they were bad, they needed a way to reward themselves. So they created a twisted world like the one we live in to reward the wicked and to punish the good because they never intended on going back to Christ in the first place. They were cast out. They were a, they were a, a, a toxicity that was discharged from the heavenly realm of the spirit into the physical world. And now here we sit in the realm, in the place where Christ has returned to us and has given us orders. And so few are aware of this occult knowledge. There's no reward without salvation. If you're not saved, I'm talking about spiritually saved, not saved by the, you went under the water. You have to be initiated into salvation. And that's very hard because people have been running churches on automatic. They've been running their lives, doing whatever that they want to do. The fact that salvation is not as easy as opening up a, a Watchtower pamphlet you think he would make it that easy for us? Is I'm so grateful that it's not that hard. But do you really think that to the most wicked brood and abomination as we are, that he would make it so that people who couldn't care less would be able to easily partake just by following orders or following some kind of spell or, or magic? That's not the case. He says, you have to come through me. So you have to face the creator in the spirit to be able to be saved. And 
passing or DNA was not a part of the original plan of the creator. His plan was to, to receive the gold from those workers and for everybody to be on board with him and what he's doing, not that they would have a war in heaven and rebel in the spirit realm and descend. And they descended before Adam and Eve. That's why the sin was in them to the point where they disobeyed the Lord and said, even in the garden, well, the Lord's not watching. Let's just do our own thing. That's significant because at that time, thousands of years ago, he created a new deal for them. He kept coming to us saying, well, I'll do it this way. Because after all, we are a component and a part of him. So he saw to it that he would create a new way and say, this is this can be the garden. I never instructed these people to have this type of relationship. I never instructed these people to have this type of situation where they have to lie and try to sneak and do what I don't want them to do. When I told them, don't do it. This is the occult secret of eternal life. To maintain your spiritual path, never involve procreation, which is divine imitation. To produce people is an imitation of Christ. We weren't sitting here worried. What we've created is a way to enslave people and a way for our fallen nature to control others. So we have children and we have a whole lot of children all over the place because we see this power. We see this power over the future and all the people that are producing children. Many of them don't have good intentions for the children at all. So, and I, and I can't even say that that's, has anything to do with it because at the bottom line, is this an abomination by our nature? That fruitful and multiplied lie is taken completely out of context. It does, the verse does before and after has nothing to do with reproduction. He's talking about gardening, producing to be able to feed yourself in a time when people had to do that. Humans had no disobedience before the fall. This is a byproduct of how we're created. So the salvation of being saved that comes across through the Bible, through that occult document, is the fact you have to face Christ in the spirit to be able to gain initiation and permission to be able to live forever. And if you don't, you're going to die and you cannot be here because this is heaven. This, this earth that we live on is heaven, is the heavenly place. Ascension separates people. That's what this is for, for you to go from karma, which is this old archaic concept that has been turned upside down and has been flipped inside out because they created royalty. They created generations of people who were in power, people who own other people, people who um, have all kinds of, power over humanity, over the food, over the real estate, making you pay taxes, all this type of stuff. That is an imitation of the creator. They, we've created as a collective society, the worst of the worst by our disobedience over and over again. We weren't even meant to wear clothing. We were meant to walk around this earth naked in impurity that's not the case because as you know that's just not the world that we live in today we we have evolved and it says it right there in the book so if you're not separating from people if you're kind of digging in your heels because you want to get closer to the most corrupt folks or say these people are your family oh you know my family you know this is the time when people are starting to really get frustrated with their family because it's ever more clear who is for you, who is against you, who you can't trust, who you can trust. And the lines of battle are drawn in your family. We've got to get out of all of this stuff because if you hang on to even one piece, he's going to test you and drag you with that one piece so that you will understand 
that this is the time of absolute truth. I'm telling you, cities are falling, countries are falling. People are protesting. The economy can't work as much money as you pump into the economy. Nobody knows where the heck the money is because it's not getting to the people who are complaining. So now that I talked about karma the other day and how the people who were the bad folks are actually going to receive visibly their just rewards of not having the money, of not having the success, of not being approved when they formerly were lauded and applauded by everyone in society before. The tables have turned, but they were oblivious to it all these years. So it started as a slow drip. And as things organized, things were put into place. Now it's in a situation where the whole ceiling could cave in at the same time because it's all soaked. It's soaking wet from the neglect that we need to stop this. We need to stop the evil that we've done and figure out some kind of way. Instead, what they did is send bulldozers dozers over into the Middle East and into all these places, these sacred places to try to destroy ancient documents, to try to prevent everyone from knowing about ancient Babylonia and, and, and Sumer and, and Ur and all these different places. They did not want to have this information, so they destroy it. They go to take the Coptic Christian documents in Egypt and, and, and shatter them. And they have these gigantic military operations. This was, de- this was decades ago when they had this. And pe- nobody was paying attention except for a few of us who were, uh, who were on track and understanding what in the world. We didn't know we would become this. We didn't know that this would go this way. But it's dramatic because... Uh, I'm sorry, just looking at something. Because now we know that we didn't need the documents at all. Because the power was in the people who were assigned by the creator to carry this thing straight onto YouTube and share this information. So what do you do if you have kids? I'll, I've got, I'll get to that. So if you're not keen on separating from people and clearing your karmic debt and instantly moving forward into the ascended realm, struggling forward, whatever that that's going to take for you. If you have the rituals, like I said, it's designed to smooth everything out for you because you're actually a client. You're actually paying uh, to be into my ministry to be able to move this thing forward. Uh, everyone else, they can partake in it, but it's going to be calamity. It's going to be left and right, people dying, people getting, getting tremendously sick, all this kind of crazy stuff. Um, so it, the ascension also allows your children to ascend. So now if you're a part of the ritual buyers, I mean, if you're at psychicunderlord.com, uh, you understand you can clear your children for less than the price of a cup of coffee. It is essential to do karmic blockage removal and be initiated into ascension. There it is. There it is. I wish I could say that there would, it would cost you nothing. You would go through nothing for this. I make it a little sweeter because I'm providing a legitimate esoteric product with real energy, real results, real activity, real verification, real reviews of people that have gone through this process and they know it's real. The fallen angels carry the DNA of Christ as a part of his assembly. They were created to praise him, to worship and glorify him. And they just decided, a few of them, that they wanted to descend. So we're we're a byproduct of that rebellion and we carry also that dna too but how many people turn that to the side so mating with let's call those those white-skinned uh women that who are fair humans let's call them the humans uh that was an abomination that brought forth 
the salvation protocol for eternal life. So the only way that we would be able to return back to him would be through salvation. But we cannot return to the spirit realm because to, to return to the spirit realm from here would mean that we die and he promised us eternal life in exchange for our salvation. That is something that you could truly run for. Life, which is ascension unto the hand of Christ. 